Hey everyone, it's Thomas Wooden Railway, and today let's take a look at the 2022 Thomas & Friends Wooden Railway Thomas. Now, this item has been out for a while now, and I'm not going to be saying anything revolutionary or extraordinary or anything like that, but I've never properly taken the time to voice my opinion on these toys, at least in video form, um, since they hit the market about two years ago. And uh, I thought, let's just start with Thomas, because he is the number one engine, and he's probably the character that most people are going to care about. So this, uh, I guess, Thomas Wooden Railway 2.0, or the new Thomas Wooden Railway, as some people are calling it, um, came as a surprise for sure. And I think, you know, it is... It is a really good toy line. Um, it definitely feels more like fan service uh, than anything else, which I'm not complaining about. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to take some time and look at uh, the Thomas here and also a special version of Thomas that a friend made that you may recognize from a particular profile picture. So uh, Thomas here, uh, you know, he's a little bit different than the, the classic Thomas and Friends wooden railway Thomas we were dealing with for, you know, 25 uh, plus years you know the wheels are different he has a little bit of a I would say a more level cab area he's kind of short and stumpy uh, would be the best way to say it um, but you know I think he still looks really good all things considered you know you can nitpick any toy you know series or franchise or you know even when it comes to Thomas merchandise you can nitpick stuff to death but considering you know we were dealing with Thomas and Friends would for for basically, you know, let's just call it like three or four years. Uh, having something like this, you know, in your hands uh, after going through that is really, really nice. Now let's talk about the things that I like. First of all, this Thomas, I feel like has a surprising amount of detail. Um, and it's probably just, you know, kind of a hangover from the wood days of, you know, barely getting anything. But there was a particular season of Thomas and Friends um, where for all of a sudden they started introducing, you know, these rivets all around the engines. I think it was an attempt to make them more realistic, but they kind of just appeared out of nowhere. And, you know, having, you know, looked at Thomas, uh, on TV for so many years and all of his friends to have these rivets just suddenly appear, like it wasn't a bad thing, but it kind of took everybody by surprise and it took a little bit of getting used to. So Thomas has rivets uh, all the way around. One thing I really like about all of these new 2022 engines is you can see a little bit of light escaping from the cab area and presumably that is from the firebox. And honestly, like I think that's just like a really nice touch. Uh, in previous Thomas um, wooden railway engines and characters, uh, that's never really been the case. But again, it's just sort of like an added detail that honestly makes a lot of sense when you think about it. Um, I would say, you know, Thomas's proportions... They're a, they're a little bit off. I think I prefer uh, the shape of, let's just call it the 1992 through 2017 Thomas um, a little bit more. I think it's because uh, I am used to that shape. And there is a little bit of a height variance, you know, between like the smoke box and the boiler and then the cab area. Whereas this one just feels like very, very flat all the way across. It kind of reminds me of a bigger push along Thomas. And what I mean by that is this is a, you know, a classic, you know, Thomas and Friends push along Thomas before the all engines go rebrand. And, you know, ignoring the big wheels and stuff, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. It's a little bit more exaggerated with this toy, but the funnel's really high. And then, you know, basically ignoring the dome, it's like a flat line all the way back. And when you look at a picture of Thomas, I mean, you know, he, you know, he has ups and downs and there's, like I said, there's height variances and everything. And I feel like the push along toys or even dating back to the uh when the the i guess it was take along at the time um had the when they went to the big fat magnets on the front and back they also kind of squashed the top area and that carried over to the push along range uh there's a little bit of that going on here but it's not egregious enough for me to be like i don't like this toy um i still think it's 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 really well done in the scheme of things uh one nice area with all of these uh 2022 uh thomas models is that we actually get i would call this tangible physical coal that you can touch uh this is a nice return uh, before Thomas Wood, you know, um, 
where at least it was the tender engines, you had the plastic coal, but even on Thomas where it's such a small area, they could have easily painted that black like the cab area and we wouldn't have noticed, but again, just, you know, a really nice touch there. And of course, I think people, if people do have a complaint with these new uh, 2022 engines, it's these, it's the wheels and they are, you know, a little bit, I would say shocking to look at. First, I remember when the prototypes of these engines leaked out online, we didn't know they were for a new toy line originally, um, but the wheels were the first thing uh, that caught your eye and they're just kind of big and, and chunky. Um, you kind of have that insert area that sticks out a lot more than previous Thomas models. Um, but with that, we've gotten like a new wheel design where we actually have some printed detailing on the wheels. And I mean, that's the thing is they've even taken the time to put like these counterweights on the wheels, which you would see in real life. Um, again, just kind of a really interesting area um, of fascination there, taking the time to do something like that. Uh, some other really great areas. They don't have any back detailing, which is kind of surprising. It would have been great if we had some, I believe it's red lining on the back and maybe like a tail lamp. Maybe I'm asking for too much there. But then this head-on shot of Thomas is a great reminder. Um, we got some buffer detailing. It was weird. And the, I would call it the classic Thomas and Friends wooden railway merchandise line. There were some characters that actually had buffers or like a red, you know, buffer beam or something like that, but it was super inconsistent. Um, some of these new 2022 um, Thomas Wooden Railway engines have uh, that detailing all the way around, which is great. So here's the thing. Um, I do believe this is a fine version of Wooden Railway Thomas. I really do. Um, I think we are all used to like the the regular shape and style of Thomas from for 25 years. I mean, that engine was around for a couple of decades and it's hard to let that style go. Um, but, you know, all things considered, this is a really nice version of Thomas. And, and that's the thing is not too long ago, we were dealing with a Thomas that looked like this. And this is kind of that shape I was talking about. Um, but I, but for the sake of this discussion, I'm talking about, you know, the detailing here or the lack thereof. I mean, this was our normal for a little bit there. And it's kind of shocking that, you know, this is what we were presented with. It's a little bit scary. So having this in our back, po uh, back pocket with what we were, what we were, um, given in the past, I mean, there is no question that this new Thomas is, is rock solid. It is really, really good. I think, again, if people do have some type of issue with Thomas, it is either uh, the wheels or the face. And that's something that I wanted to talk about. So one thing that they've done with these new, I guess, 2022 engines is they've all kind of given them unique faces, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Again, we are used to faces like this. You know, where it's it's kind of like, I would call this like a default happy face. We are just used to that, and that is what we are given. And maybe it was, I mean, a lot more common uh, back in the day. I think back to the, let's see, I'm looking on my shelf right now. It is the five car value pack with the, I guess, the hard at work or the sad face Thomas. Um, you know, that was the first, one of the first examples of giving engine like a special sculpted face. The sad Henry from the come out Henry set um, is another one. Um, it's a big deal when, when an engine uh, gets like a special face. But like I said, this is like your your baseline Thomas here. You know, this is a, this is not like a special Thomas or anything like that. This is like what, you know, presumably kids and parents are going to buy and use as what I would call that default Thomas. And so I, you know, I, I sort of, I'm kind of on the fence as to whether I like this idea of giving uh, your default engines a special face. Thomas's face isn't nearly as egregious. It's actually, you know, all things considered, it's totally fine. Um, it's the other characters in the line that are going to be talking about in separate videos that are a little bit more questionable. Engines like, I would say Edward or Percy or especially Toby, but that's a discussion uh, for another video. Um, so Thomas's face here, it's sort of like a cheeky uh, smirk is what I would call it. Uh, I think the big thing is that he is looking to his left. And so, I mean, I'm just thinking, you know, coming from years of making a Thomas Wooden Railway series uh, with no facial animations, you know, this face uh, it presents its own set of challenges. You know, I really don't believe it is as default of a face 
as you know this Thomas here for example um, I believe you know this is just like a very safe smiley face uh, and you know for a series like mine you know, I am looking to convey a whole bunch of different emotions across the engines, but you as the viewer kind of have to imagine if Thomas is angry or sad or disgruntled, because clearly I don't have, you know, well, I mean, I might have like a sad Thomas. Again, there are a few variants that have been produced, but especially when Fisher Price took over the line in 2013, uh, we really didn't get many special editions or special variants of these characters with unique faces. So... Here's the thing, I guess the, the biggest gripe that I have with this face is honestly the eye placement, like the, the closed mouth smirking thing, you know, and it, it, it does, it's not like a symmetrical mouth either. You can see it's favored, I would say favored on our left, Thomas's right. Um, I think the mouth is fine. It's actually more of the eye placement that is, that kind of peeves me because for example, you know, and again, I come from the background of making a Thomas Wynn Railway series, but if Thomas is sitting at, you know, like a, in a siding or something, and an engine pulls up next to him over here, you know, the entire time that you have the camera on these two engines, it looks like he's ignoring the Thomas to his right, our left, and he's actually more focused on the Thomas Wood Thomas there, which I think is just more distracting, if anything else. It's not necessarily a bad thing, uh, but again, we are used to just like a head-on Thomas look where you can sort of imagine if this Thomas was in the middle and he was talking to both of them, uh, you could kind of see Thomas, you know, favoring this Thomas over here or this one. There's just too many Thomases on screen. It's getting a little bit crazy, but I hope you see what I mean there. It's not a bad face, but if anything... I'm just a little bit more peeved that the eyes are focused on one direction. And even the one Thomas and Friends, or excuse me, Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends Wooden Railway episode I did with these engines, there's probably a, an instance or two where the eye placement just really kind of throws things off and you as the viewer have to adjust what's going on. So overall, I still really like this Thomas. The detailing is you know, fantastic. It is really, really well done. Um, but like I said, if anything, the face is probably the thing that I have like the biggest complaint about. And I have said this in past videos. And so I'm definitely repeating myself, but like the face, like I can kind of deal with weird proportions and stuff and things that don't feel right. But I feel like, you know, a face is like a maker or break it type of thing. And this face is fine. But it is, you know, transparently not my favorite. And really quick before I forget, I have the 2022 day out with Thomas, Thomas here. And this face is just reused from the normal version. Uh, this is in line, actually, with special day out with Thomas, Thomas's they've done in the past. Um, but I would like to think for a special version of Thomas that you charge a premium for at a special event, the least they could do is introduce some type of face. But I guess, you know, this is supposed to be the default face, so I... I guess that's why they did that. But it's a little bit more, I don't know, the issue of that face kind of becomes a little bit more glaring when you put them side by side and this is supposed to be a special edition and this is the default and it merely really makes me want to be like, you know, let's give this Thomas a special face. You know, it's all about celebration on the side. He has shooting stars all over him. Like I would see like a, you know, it could still be that same type of face where he's kind of, it looks like he's looking to his side or maybe looking behind him because he's such a glorious, splendid special engine. Uh, but something different would be a little bit more appreci uh, appreciated. However, I was a big fan of this Thomas face. Now, this came in one of the starter sets for the line, and it is called, as I look off to the side, it is called the Figure 8 Track Pack. It is a very simple bare bones, honestly boring type of starter set. Uh, but Thomas was featured with a special face here. And so this is a special Thomas. Um, it has some special detailing on the side, for example, a beaver, which is really funny. And then it looks like he's also kind of gotten into a rocky situation there. I think those are, those are some types of lizards or like salamanders or something. Um, but the face here was really, really interesting to me because it's sort of funny. You know, if anything, this looks like a default Thomas face, and the one on the left actually looks like a special edition, one that you would stick in a starter set, for example. It honestly feels like the faces uh, should be reversed. And so I had my good friend, Master of the Lemons, a.k.a. Sam, 
Uh, he did a little bit of surgery work on some of these engines. Uh, this is something I posted about many, many months ago, a year, year ago, uh, well over a year ago. And what he ended up doing is I kind of wanted to have the best of both worlds. I wanted to have the plain bodied 2022 Thomas with the what I can consider to be the superior face Thomas. And so we take this body, this face, and we roll it into this Thomas. And this Thomas probably looks familiar because... Well, he's the profile picture on my channel and all of my social media pages. Uh, it may not seem that way from the head-on shot because you can't see the side of Thomas, but this is a normal Thomas. It came looking like this. Um, and Master of the Lemons came in and uh, took off the face and replaced it with the one from the starter set. And I am just a bigger fan of this style of Thomas. Um, I actually don't think this is like the perfect Thomas face. Um, it is a little bit cartoony for my liking. Um, it is fine. Uh, again, like, I'm not going to go down this rabbit hole of complaints. Um, but I do consider it to be better than this Thomas. And honestly, like, if somebody did some Photoshop work and just corrected the eyes on this Thomas, I may like it a little bit more. But I was actually kind of a fan of the, the open mouth smile at the bottom. And it really does take me back to... This Thomas, which I have been a fan of for a while now and was a previous uh, profile picture of mine. So this kind of just feels like a natural evolution of things. Um, you know, again, you kind of have the white dots in the eyes, a little bit more cartoony expression. The mouth is open. Uh, but overall, I think we're kind of going for the same vibe here. And if anything, you know, this Thomas may look a little better in terms of detailing. You have the red uh, buffer beam on the front and the uh, the printed uh, buffer detailing. So I had um, Sam do these uh, modif or this very simple modification, actually, uh, because I figured this was just the best way to get, you know, a cool version of of Thomas that I really liked. And I liked it so much that I decided to change my profile picture to it. And I hope you like it as much as I do. Um, you know, this, this Thomas is, uh, it, it's, it's really cool. And, you know, I think it, it's kind of taking, like I said, the best of both worlds. It is not 100% perfect, however, but for the time being, I am a big fan of this Thomas. Um, I think with just every version of Thomas though, like if I go back, it's like Thomas just gets younger and younger. Like, you know, you throw out, you bring out an old 1992 Thomas from the range's introduction. And not to say Thomas looks like an old man, but, you know, he just, he just, I guess, looks more mature. He's supposed to be a, a young engine, of course, but that has just been kind of a, a, a trend with toys and reboots and, sp and stuff, especially with all engines go, is that these engines just look younger and younger. And you could argue that, from the model series, Thomas looked his oldest, and then, you know, you kind of go to, I guess, like the new classic series or whatever, he looks a little bit younger, and then CGI Thomas, I remember when CGI Thomas was released or unveiled, I was like, wow, like, you know, he's almost starting to look like a kid a little bit, you know, and kind of stayed that way through the CGI series, all engines go as, you know, like a slam dunk in terms of that discussion I've already talked about, um, but in terms of the toys, you know, it's like every version of Thomas just he just like gets younger and younger. And, you know, I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing, uh, to be honest. But, you know, with, especially with the little the gleam in his eye and, you know, uh, especially that white dot detailing and even just the smile and the expression, you know, Thomas, they just look younger. Uh, All engines go. I have not watched a single episode, but from what I understand, they actually they tend to treat the engines like children. So I guess it kind of makes sense. But. You know, you, you go back to the, the good old days of Thomas the Tank Engine, and he's supposed to be a young engine, you know, but, you know, he knows right from wrong, and it is, it, the, the, you know, the, the timeline is a bit puzzling there. But anyway, I wanted to show off and give my thoughts on two things. I wanted to show off uh, the, you know, normal 2022 Thomas that you can go in stores and pick up or buy it off of Amazon basically unedited it and then I also wanted to show off I guess my perfect version of Thomas in this form and that was made by Sam aka Master of the Lemons so I would love for your guys's thoughts um, on what I've said here are you a fan of this custom Thomas that I have made is it really not your thing uh, totally you know everything's on the table not offended in the slightest by any opinions. But anyway, you know, the point of this video is I wanted to give my thoughts on this Thomas here because I had never really taken the time to do that, but also show off just a special edited version of Thomas. And as I go through sort of the, the Steam team here, um, you're going to see me 
doing the same thing with all different other engines, kind of giving my thoughts on, you know, how they come out of the package. Uh, but then also, you know, if I were in charge of the Thomas Wooden Railway merchandise line, like what would I have changed with these engines before release? So that's going to do it for this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment below if you're able to, and I'll see you on the next video.